Ah. Okay. So I decided I'm going to answer a, I guess, a viewer's question as opposed to a reader's question because this was off my YouTube channel. Uh, let's see. The person who sent this was uh, JHC1Jinx. So, uh, her question was really his or her, I don't know if to him or her, but their question was kind of weirdly worded, but it was something about uh, why do Americans feel that other cultures, cultures should know American history, but uh, they don't uh, take the time to learn other cultures' history. So, I'm going to use a lot of references here. Uh, first of all, um, since I'm in a business communication class, and it's uh, split into, uh, our project split into trying to convince someone to use a certain technology and how, and then uh, the other groups can do something, are doing something with culture. My group is doing something with culture. And, uh, we have a country called, we have Denmark as our country, and I decided to do, uh, the culture consideration, um, aspect of our report. And, uh, it's, and, uh, our teacher said, you know, was telling us, you know, it's important to know the culture and customs before you do business with someone so you don't disrespect them and you know how they function you know what they expect of you and um i think that's that's very true i also heard that from Xion of Bell entertainment um i think it was in a q a or an interview or something where he said that um, some people flop at making, doing business with these Japanese labels because they don't, they don't understand how things work. And then there's misunderstandings and trust issues and whatnot and things just don't go right. And he says he takes the time to learn everything and get close to these people and, you know, right now he's in Japan, so I really admire him a lot for doing what he does, bringing J-Rock bands to America, and I mean, it's kind of one of uh, my career choices if, uh, you know, if all else fails to help, you know, bring J-Rock to America as well. But I would have to learn more about, you know, how to do business with Japan, of course. But um, I thought that was great. And then I... It's with this whole racial thing going on with uh, Korea and idols and whatnot. Um, I read something about you know not I I know that there's not a lot of you know black people or African Americans in Korea. It's a very homogeneous country and whatnot. But um, there's just there's so much technology out there to like find all this information of why certain things are offensive and and especially since they're they're priding themselves on this whole Halu wave thing that Korea is becoming some so global and I guess they that ego of them being popular is clouding their uh, minds that Oh yeah, people are gonna see these these images of you know these idols or comedians or whatever in blackface and you know just totally degrading you know a certain race and whatnot and it's just not black they they've done another uh, parody of some other um, race I believe um, so. I think it is, I, I think Americans, 
feel, I, I know this is like completely generalizing, but this is just a guess. I think Americans feel that other countries should know our culture because everyone wants to do business with us, with America, because we're such a, a rich country or whatever, and we just have like a lot of power. I'm not trying to sound like like we're superior or something, but um, but it seems like every everyone wants to either they want to be with us like you know allies or they just hate us because we have you know the freedom and power or whatever it we're um and i know that even americans don't know american history so i mean i watched a video on something um watched a couple videos and saw comments of people asking stuff about black history and I just felt so bad that like we don't even know our own history some people we just this is just bad um but um I agree with the person who asked me that it is important for the exchange to happen that we need to know if we're going to be doing business with each other we need to know understand each other's cultures how we function so no one gets offended everyone understands each other and we can you know get rid of all conflicts and i think that's what korea should do they should learn american culture understand why we were offended by uh, what happened the, the, the whole blackface incident especially because they're trying to market their music here and they also need to understand how our music uh, situation works as well and adapt to that, especially because they take influences from our music and use it in their own. So I, I don't know. But then we also need to do the same and not shut them out or I don't know, offend them, you know. We, we can't, I don't know, think they're weird, whatever, I don't know, discriminate, yeah. Like, I have no, when uh, during Gray first started coming to America, there was a lot of, I don't know, comparisons to American bands and the word odd and eccentric and weird and all these other things was added but it had like a negative inflection to it some sometimes not like weird strange inventive like lady gaga that's like praising but when it came to during gray it was like i don't know if i like this so but um yeah i i think i hope that answers your question um but yeah i i do agree that everyone should you know, I think it's gonna be hard not to know, like, why a country is offensive, uh, why a country is offended by something, but I think they should go back and look at history, um, before they apologize, like, the blackface thing, and I, it didn't feel like they went back and looked to see why they thought it was offensive, so... And I'm kind of afraid that it might happen again, so I really hope it doesn't. Because, uh, yeah, they really need to work on being more, you know, sensitive. And we also, just as a world, we need to be more sensitive to certain things. So, one love, I guess. Um, yeah. Anyway, I hope that answers your question. If it doesn't, I'm really sorry. I tried. My mind's kind of been scattered and I'm still kind of so-so on the health. So, if um, any of you guys have readers' questions, my email, email is always below in the description box. So, please uh, feel free to leave questions in the comments or you can email me. Or also my blog uh, link is there too. So. Thank you for your question, and I, I'm going to answer another one in the next video.